just seasoned our hex clad pan. We're going right into a cook, and what are we gonna cook? Well, we're gonna go with a pan fried porterhouse. This is a absolutely huge porterhouse, about 26 ounces, so we're gonna find out how this cooks. We're gonna just put a little olive oil in here to start, just enough oil to get enough crisp in here. And I can tell the pan's hot because look at that oil run around like that. All right, first off, Oh yeah, listen to the sizzle. And again, we're cooking on about medium heat here. Actually, not even quite all the way to medium. But per this hex clad directions, we only want to cook on low to medium. So really never higher than medium. We're going to get a little sear on this side. And we are today using our brand new absolutely wireless thermometer. So we're going to cook this to temperature. All right, I think we got a pretty good sear on the one side, so let's flip this over. Get a sear on the other side. Once we get the sear, we're gonna get a little butter in here, start basting this with butter. We're gonna add a little fresh rosemary and thyme, and then we're gonna cook to perfection. All right, as I mentioned, this is our first use, and what they say, like we season this hex clad, but the more you cook with this, especially oily stuff, the more it seasons itself. It just gets better with age like a cast iron skillet. So I'm looking for future cooks. I can't wait for this to just keep getting better and better and better. And look at that sear on there. That is absolutely gorgeous sear. Alrighty, we're gonna get some butter in this pan. Now this is different than any other pan. They actually, you can actually clean this with a steel wool pad. So this little uh, metal spoon in here isn't gonna hurt it any. I'm gonna put some uh, fresh rosemary and thyme here. Let it start cooking down in our butter. Now, if you ever watch Hell's Kitchen, which I do. Why do you cook a steak in butter? Well, you want to get it crisp. Plus, you want this wonderful flavor on here. So, we're going to not only base this to get it buttery flavor, but the butter actually helps cook the steak a little bit. Now, as hot as this pan is, I'm holding on to the handle. It's barely hot whatsoever. Matter of fact, it's pretty cool. But according to my temp spike here, this wireless thermometer, the temperature of the meat is about 89 degrees. We're gonna cook this to about a medium. Take a look at that gorgeous steak. All right, let's flip this here. Oh, look at that. That is a gorgeous sear on that side. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get some butter up on this. Wow, look at that. That's a gorgeous looking steak right there. All right, we're just gonna let that sear for another minute. Until it gets up to temp, then we're gonna take it off and let it rest. All right, this is about to temp. We're gonna take it off right now. The ambient temp, which is the temp right around the steak here, shows about 157, and the steak's right around 130, so we're going to get it off and we're going to let it rest. Dude, we're going to let this rest. One thing I like to do when a steak is resting is put a plate right over the top. It keeps all the heat in. I like my steak hot, but I like, I like to have it rest, so I want to keep it hot and rest, so we're going to rest for about 5 to 10 minutes here, and we're going to give it a try and taste it see how we did in our brand new hex clad. All right, this porterhouse been resting about 10 minutes and while it was resting, I went ahead and got my uh, side dish off here. This is air fried asparagus and porterhouse steak. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow. Let's try the asparagus first real quick. Let's just see how we did. Mm. Wow, that's really good. The as asparagus, just a little bit of olive oil and Trader Joe's onion salt. It's the best. Now let's see what we did on the steak. Let's cut in here. Oh yeah, I'd say that's gorgeous right there. Take a look at that. Really only one thing left to do and that's taste it. Let's let's see how we did here.
That's a pretty delicious steak right there. Hex clad, I think I love you. Anyways, we got a perfect sear here. I like a steak on a grill, but the hex clad did a pretty good job of searing the steak. I'm a, I'm a believer. Click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.